Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see this sum in copy isometric, and then tomorrow we'll do this same sum in orthographic as well. So length is one one eight, height is width is sixty, and height is fifty plus twenty seventy. So first we will draw layout, and we'll start with this part first. Fifty fifty. See, we'll take fifty from here. After that, you take fifty from here. This height is fifteen. Now we join this. Now this is fifteen forty. So you take fifteen from here. Then you take forty. Mark midpoint. And I can draw vertical line from here. We'll draw circle later on. I'm just drawing lines over here. So we are done with this part. Now the same part is behind. How much it is behind? Sixty. So we'll take all the points behind by sixty. So how much you have to go behind? You have to go behind by sixty. And then we join this. After this, with this part, this is twenty. See, it is given inside. I'm just showing you that we are taking twenty here. On this line, and then we will draw this. So I will take twenty from here. We'll draw a line from here. Then we'll mark fifteen. Then again fifteen from here. Fifteen, fifteen on both the side. And then we'll join this. So this is how you will get that shape, slope. Then you darken this. Then you extend line from here, and you extend line from vertical here. So this is what you will get. Now we'll draw this part. How much you have to go inside? Twenty-five. Then from there you go up by twenty. You take twenty-five like this. Then you go up by twenty. Then you take sixty-five. Then you draw a vertical line. Then you draw a line from here. Now we don't know this height, but we know that this is parallel. Always remember, on slope it will be parallel. So we need to draw a parallel line. So I'm using T scale, or you can use scale also. 
to draw parallel line so this is what you will get when you draw parallel line then you take 10 mm can you draw parallel line to this so we'll be able to complete that top portion now we are left with only circular part so that we can use four center method to draw that circle now remember in that we know the center point so from center point we need to take 20 20 radius is 20 right So from center point you go up by 20 you go down by 20 and draw parallel line so we'll get a rhombus after that we'll use four center method in that what we do first we draw longest diagonal this point is 1 point is 2 midpoint m m join 1 to m like this So with a compass, you take one to M, and you can draw R. Same way, wherever that longest diagonal and that one to M line is intersecting, from there, point to M. Again, you draw arc like this. So you'll get the required circle. and now you can draw the inside line which is inclined which is going inside at 30 degree so i hope you people have understood this sum thank you